Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we're going to talk what exactly is a package.xml in Salesforce and how do we use it and why do we use it. But before getting started, if you really like my videos, I request you to please subscribe to this channel. So package.xml is nothing but an XML file needed to retrieve the metadata source from a Salesforce instance and deploy metadata back to the org or any another org that you need right in simple terms what package.xml is nothing but package.xml is nothing but a file with the help of which you can retrieve whatever components you want from the source org and deploy it to the destination org but even before getting started with package.xml let's understand what exactly happens at the back end if you are deploying anything right so let's say this is your source org right and this is your destination org now what your goal is you have to move the component from source org to the destination org right but at the back end in any any of the tool if you go to okay in any visual studio code or uh, whatever you want right now we are using workbench there is a middleware in between them okay in in our case if it is workbench okay i'm going to use my middleware as my personal computer right now i'm logged in into this is my personal system i'm going to use it as a middleware in between so this is a source org, right? I want to retrieve the data from the source org and I want to deploy the data to the destination org. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to retrieve whatever required components are uh, that are uh, required. I'm going to retrieve it inside my personal computer first of all, okay? From the source org to the personal computer. Now once I have all the components that are needed to be deployed or uh, whatever I want to do, okay? I have once in, inside my personal computer, then I'm going to take the same component and I'm going to put it inside the developer org. If I'm using workbench, okay, so the middleware here acting is nothing but the personal computer. I'm going to retrieve from the source org, okay, I'm going to retrieve whatever components that I want from the source org, and I'm going to deploy the same components inside the destination org, right? But it's not always possible that I have to retrieve everything and I have to deploy everything, right? There are, can be specific things that I want to deploy. For an example, I want to just deploy the custom object, I want to just, just deploy the field, I just want to deploy a particular page layout or a list view. I don't want to deploy everything at one go, right? Like for an example, I just want to deploy one small thing. So in that case, what components I want to deploy, okay? It can be, even if you want to deploy everything, you just have to specify the components that you want to deploy. So whatever components you want to deploy, okay? That's what you have to specify inside the package.xml, okay? Inside package.xml, you can specify all the components that you want, okay? Whatever in the XML format, you have to uh, provide all the components that you want inside package.xml so what will happen is automatically now this when you create a package.xml is the source or who needs uh, will automatically know okay these are a few components that are specified inside this file okay these are the components that i need to first throw at the personal computer now once that is done if i want to deploy uh, using that same package.xml the system is going to understand okay these are the few components that i actually this uh, they want to deploy right what are exactly the components? What is the name of the component? Which components I want to deploy? All these things are specified inside the package.xml. Let's look at the uh, pack one of the sample of the package.xml. So this is one of the sample of the package.xml. It looks tough, but actually it is not at all. Okay. So first XML version, this will be always constant. You can go to any uh, Google site and you can find the same thing. Okay. Even this package.xml, packa this, this line starting and ending line will be the same. And versions will be also the same okay now comes what components i want to specify let's say i want to deploy a custom object specific object i've created an account named as custom object okay if i want to deploy that particular custom object first i need to retrieve that custom object i need to take that custom object from source or and only then i can deploy it right so i have to specify the name of that custom object over here okay i can provide use types and inside this member I just wanted account right so i have specified account and what is it it's actually a custom object so i specified what is it okay same way if you want to retrieve a uh, approval process you can specify approval process okay the object name that is the uh, leave right now and the name of the approval process next if you want to retrieve a particular or if you want to deploy a particular custom field okay so you have to specify types again okay what, what is it it's a custom field okay and the custom field is on account object and the name of the custom field is new custom field underscore underscore c so this is how you can specify a particular custom field same way you can go for the list view same way you can go for the layouts okay if you understand how uh, to deploy a page layout you are done 
okay this is because i think so page layout deploying page layout is the most difficult task okay rest it's pretty straightforward not that much difficult but that's what it is okay you sp you use the same okay now what's going to happen is if i specify if i provide these these things inside the workbench what it's going to know it's going to know that okay uh from uh, from the source org okay we want to retrieve all these things okay it will retrieve all these things inside the personal computer and i can use the same whatever i have retrieved that will have all the data like field permission and everything it will have okay uh, using the same i will deploy it inside the destination org so in short package.xml is nothing but a file which is used in order to determine which components do i want to deploy or i either i want to retrieve Okay, the name of the components which I want to deploy or retrieve are specified inside the package.xml. But let's say I want to deploy all the comp all the custom objects. So I just use star. Okay, if I want to deploy all the custom objects, if I want to retrieve or deploy all the approval process, I just use star. If I want to retrieve or deploy all the custom objects field, I can just specify star over here. Same goes for list view and all other stuff. So this is what the package.xml is in Salesforce. If you found this video helpful, I request you to please subscribe to the channel.